So RFID you know, has been around for a very long time, but in 2004, that's when it really started to take effect when Walmart, Target, DOD, a lot of different organizations thought that they could use it in their supply chain to get better, visi better visibility. And that's when it was a technology. You know, so you, you know you move forward when you move from being a technology to being a solution, almost like what Omnichannel was to retailing, right? And so um, it, in, in, two, in the early 2000s, we were just seeing if it worked, where it worked, how it worked. Now it's becoming integrated into the point of sale, into the item files, into the OMSs, into all the different uh, enterprise solutions to give retailers better visibility on what is where. Um, I was just, I was just, uh, I was listening to the uh, the president of um, of Microsoft talk about the the um, the virus that hit from the Russian virus that got into all of our systems, that got into their systems through uh, one of their suppliers or one of their one of their partners. And he said, what's interesting is that it got in through the back door. And then as soon as it got into the back door, they closed the back door and they opened a window. And so then they opened a window and allowed them to get in and see everyone's data and what have you. And that's the challenge that retailers have is that when an, uh, when an item comes into the store, sometimes they don't know where that item is. And they don't know where it lives. Is it in the back room? Is it on a, a display shelf? Where is it so that the customer can get it? And so that's where, where RFID now is, is that especially with omnichannel retail, uh, what's happening is these stores and their inventory in their stores has never been more important. And, and so you as, a, as, a, as a, a manager of the store, you need to be able to understand where that item lives so you can get it to the customer right away. So does that make sense? So, so literally RFID is barcode on steroids. Barcode developed in 1974. Now you've got RFID that enables you to see where an item is without actually hitting the barcode anymore. Now you can wave a wand and get a Geiger counter to find out where it is. And now you can scan with two handhelds. Lululemon goes out and they scan their entire store every week. Uh, um, and it takes them an hour to do it with two handhelds, which is just transformative.